Okay, trying to make the best out of a... <laughs> you can't really call this a bad situation anyway you look at it. But me, I, I'm kind of spoiled. I like to go where the hatchery truck goes. Go fish where they put the fish in. Limit out 5, 10, 20 minutes. Go home. But I missed that this week. The one day I didn't go to the spot where they put the fish... I went to Bakersfield, and that was the day they put the fish. Actually, I did go there that day. They planted later in the day. So that's okay. Because not all of the planted fish get caught. A lot of them travel up and down the river, in and out of the lake. And this right here is almost perfect depth for wading right now. So, uh... Next time, I'm just going to come back with my fly fishing pole and my waders. I actually have those right now, but this reel is screwing up. I've got to oil it. It's and it's getting dark so I had fun I, I stayed out here for a couple minutes and fished up river a little bit too and uh, now I have a plan for next trip I'll come in with my waders and I don't know I got a couple places along this creek where I'm, or river this is the current river where I'm thinking about there might be some holes with some holdovers and those are usually a little bigger anyway so Still going out every day. Don't think I'm not. The quarantine is basically over. If you, if you haven't noticed yet, it's over. A few people who are desperately clinging to a boogeyman, they're staying in their homes. Some of these people have waited their whole lives for the end of the world. And so they're so disappointed that this isn't actually it, that they'll get angry if you, if, if you tell them it's not. I had to unfriend a really good Facebook friend, somebody I've never met in person, but I wanted to. Until today, he called me an asshole for pointing out that the surge never came. And, like most of these people, they're going to say, well, the surge never came because we all hid in our homes. But we didn't all hide in our homes. They spent the last three weeks telling us we were doing a horrible job of social distancing. And now, there's no surge, and they're saying, great job, everybody. How do you know if it was a great job? You were hiding in your home. The rest of us were out here living life. And I'm telling you, most of us weren't hiding in our homes. This virus didn't hit a surge because it was never going to hit a surge. Yeah, there are places like New York and Italy where they got hit harder than others. And there are very good reasons that they got hit harder in those places. But even in those places, it's still less than 1% of the population. Anyways, quarantine's over. But I'm still going to do these little belligerent vlogs um, until everything reopens. Until the the people who really want to see everybody die stop saying that we're all going to die. At some point, they'll have to admit it's not going to happen. Some of us are going to die, yeah. That happens with anything. That's just life. But we're not going to all die because of this virus. Not even a significant number. Certainly not what they kept claiming during the first three weeks when they kept saying, it's going to get so much worse next week. It's going to get so much worse next week. And then it never did. And here we are. And I'm fishing. And tomorrow... Or the next day, I'm going to come back and go fly fishing. Because this isn't working. Once these holdovers, a lot of times they get caught by somebody where they plant them. And then they get a little smarter. So then they kind of come down and they find a nice pocket. And they sit there and they learn to eat the natural stuff. So, I'll talk to the fly fishing guy. If he's even open to answer questions. I think I can get a hold of him on Facebook. We have like one local guide shop owner up here. See what he says they're hitting on. And, uh, yeah come back and do some fly fishing.